Let's fix it here. Let's put it front for people to see. Hello guys from OpenGate. Everything's fine with you, with us, everything's okay. Renato is here today. He came to handle this mare. Even a very large animal. It's a very tall animal. Renato has already hoofed the front legs. And now he's going to hoof the back. And the animal was limping. Right, Renato? The animal was limping because the hoof broke. So we were called to see what is happening due to this in the left leg. And we are going to see what the surprise. We're going to find it here. Renato is going to start the procedure. First, we're going to remove the dirt. And apparently, the hoof is very brittle. If you take it here, you can observe the hoof is very broken in the hill region. This is danger here. And it is also almost breaking here too because there is a lot of access. This one here is the natural hoofing of the animal. It breaks the sole that's often the pieces that are not very good end up breaking down. The problem is that it can cause an injury to the hoof or a big crack as it happened in all or hooves that we worked on there. We even have two videos that cracked it due to the same situation. If I force it here, look, it can only break at the tip as it can also break further into the hoof in the sensitive part. So in other words, it's very dangerous to cause a large injury to the animal. So I'm going to do the cleaning and take advantage of the fact that it isn't raining and finish before the rain starts and for the time being the weather well, it's pretty close because we need the rain, thank God. I don't know what time of the year you are watching this video, but we need rain around here. Tell us how is the weather there in your city in the comments below. So, Renato cleaned the frog, made the removal, making the removal of the leftovers that were overtaken that had not been broken yet. I'm going to the front now to round it. Look this guys, it almost ate my hat. It's a straw and they like it. And they are very curious animals. I almost lost my hat to the horse. Let's do this. This here can also generate, you can see that I'm going to take advantage to do a general cleaning here because otherwise this here could be increasing.
também renasce. Can also generate the white line disease, better known in Brazil as the formigueiro, and actually, this is in this case is a very reminiscent of a similar system, and it's just a nickname. But it because it looks like the ants do, and for those who don't know, it's not like necessarily the ants, but it's a similar case in the hoof as if they were the paths of an anthill. So, watching here, we opened a good amount, and you see that it's a little hollow. I'm going to start now from inside because there is an amount that can be removed. That's why. That's why she broke this hoof until this point. This weakens the hoof a lot, and we often have to remove large pieces, and ends up weakening the hoof a lot because it ends up not having any props in the region. This white part does not have any props on the hoof, and it does not remain fixed here. So we have this... This is an aerobic bacteria, dry abscess, white line disease. This is a aerobic bacteria. Formigueiro is just a nickname for some regions in Brazil. It's not all, of course, in all Brazil that we use it, this name, but it's just a nickname for some regions. Depending on the place you go and you speak, people don't understand. I'm going to put it here in front because there is still a lot of hoof to be removing its heart. You can see it here more or less. Can you see it? Look, guys, the position that Renato is in to be able to do the hoofing, many times it's not good for the back and he ends up hurting sometimes the spine due to the position here. It's sometimes, main parts of the day, he stays like this. Here it's ready. The one in front, you can see that this crack, the bacteria goes up. So I have already managed to get a point where it's not the black part, so you can see that it's an anaerobic bacteria, let's let it ventilate to be able to control it, but it should always be hoofed to see if this dry abscess is not getting bigger. Now let's go to the other side. You can see that here it made the hoof break, leaving it uniformly broken. I'll put it here. I'll put it here later. I'll put it here to you guys can see. Take all the sides. Let's turn this. If it doesn't scare the animal, it is already getting dark here. And our motto is to listen to those who have no voice to be heard.
If you're not subscribed in our channel, subscribe. Let your comments below and your like, that's very important for us.